Okay, we're going to do a little experiment here. And um, the point of this is to use this bowl, which is sitting in the water, floating around, as a little metaphor for <clears throat> the pelvis. Um, you hear talk in yoga and in Tai Chi about level pelvis, like if your pelvis was a bowl it would not be tipping back or tipping forward. Um, that's an interesting idea, and um, I'm going to just adapt that a little bit and instead say leveling pelvis, not level. Level is static. And since we are in motion and we're moving around, naturally the pelvis is going to move a little bit. I'm going to repeat all this um, when I get outside and, and can show you with my actual body. But for now we're just using this bowl to symbolize the idea of a leveling pelvis. In other words, when the pelvis is disturbed or distorted by movement, say like that, you just watch it and it will seek the level. As the disturbance gets more and more calm, the water gets more and more calm, the, um, the bowl or the pelvis will move less and less. If the water itself is disturbed by moving around like this, again, you can see the little bowl is distorted, it moves, it adjusts, but as the water calms down, the pelvis levels. So I think of the pelvis as leveling, kind of a verb rather than a noun. Because holding your pelvis level while you move or do Tai Chi, or certainly while you're in a real life situation or a fighting situation, isn't practical and is kind of dumb actually. <laughs> so, um, But the idea is that the pelvis is floating and moving and flexible and necessarily distorting a little as you move, but as you come to any kind of a rest, it seeks the level, just like this bowl does. So it's a nice little metaphor. I think about it sometimes while I'm practicing, like as I'm going through movements. Now we're going to add something to this to symbolize um, the spine. So the spine is often, people often say, uh, keep your spine upright. They want you to have an upright spine. So, um, again, I'm going to say uprighting spine rather than an upright spine. I think of the spine as more of a verb than a noun, more of a process than an object. So we're going to use this candle to symbolize the upright spine. Notice the flame is always seeking the vertical. It's always seeking straight up. It's slightly curved, it's alive, it's got energy, very similar to our actual spine in some ways. Um, but the idea is that as we move, you can see the flame distorting a little bit there. Let me try an experiment and turn the light out and see how that works. Let's see if the camera can adjust. Yeah, I don't think you'll really be able to see the, to see the upright quality of that flame unless it's kind of here, maybe? Um, no, it doesn't really work. That's alright. We'll turn the light on. Okay, so as the spine distorts necessarily as things move, you can see how that flame is going different directions. It's wiggling and wobbling and going almost horizontal when the movement goes like that, right? But as soon as it stops moving, it seeks the vertical. So, the spine can be seen as kind of an ongoing process seeking the vertical, even though as you move, it's constantly distorted and off the vertical, particularly fighting or sparring or doing any kind of martial arts movements. So now we put the two together. We've got the uprighting spine and we've got the leveling pelvis. And when the water distorts or when the environment distorts our movement a little bit, you can see that the spine or the flame is seeking upright. And meanwhile, the bowl or pelvis is seeking level. And what it's going to try to arrive at eventually is both. It's going to have a nice level pelvis down below with a nice uprighting um, spine. You can see how every time it kind of bonks the side, the flame gets a little wiggly, but basically it's still heading towards leveling in the pelvis and uprighting in the spine. So if you can think of your pelvis as kind of a bowl floating in water, it'll only be level when there's no disturbance or no kind of motion or pressure or stuff going on with you. And think of the spine as upright like the flame. And it's distorted in motion, but as it calms down, it seeks the vertical. 
So now let's go outside and, and actually illustrate this with, um, with my body, and you can see it a little more clearly. Hi, Gene Burnett from GeneBurnett.com. Um, okay, you already saw my uh, indoor demonstration of the, um, the bowl, right? The bowl floating in water, like that. So that's going to represent your pelvis. There's a lot of uh, talk in yoga and in Tai Chi about level pelvis, like keep your pelvis level. Um, the problem with that is that when you're walking around trying to keep your pelvis level all the time, it's kind of weird. You don't, that's not how we're built, that's not how we're supposed to move. The pelvis rocks and moves according to what you're doing. If you're doing martial arts, you're, you're moving around, you're doing stuff, you're coming up, down, moving all around. Um, you can't be thinking about level pelvis, holding your pelvis level. So, as I said before, think of a leveling pelvis so that it's like a bowl in water that's constantly being disturbed, but in between the disturbances and while the disturbances are going on, it's seeking the level. So in your Tai Chi form or in a Tai Chi exercise, as you arrive somewhere and settle, think of your pelvis as leveling like the water is kind of calming down. Once you start motion, it's naturally going to distort a little bit. The, if your pelvis was a bowl, it's like the water's moving a little bit. It's going to tip and tilt a little bit. But any time you come to a rest and there's less disturbance, think of the, the uh, pelvis kind of gently leveling. And that way it becomes more of a verb than a noun. You're in a process, you know. Because you could really say that there's no such thing as nouns. There's no such thing as objects. Um, uh, my ring is a thing, yes, but it's also slowly becoming something else. It's slowly dissolving and changing. If you, This ring would not be here in 20 million years. The gold would have, I don't know, been broken apart into little particles and moved on to other things. So I would say the bell is ringing, and I'm genie, and that's cameraing, and that's kneeling, and the pelvis is leveling. It's a verb. It's in action, right? And the same with the spine. Instead of thinking of an upright spine, which is impossible to maintain safely while you're moving around, or certainly while you're fighting. Instead, think of your spine as uprighting. It's a verb. It's an action. Think of that flame, right? The flame that was sitting in the bowl. First we had the bowl, and then we put the flame in it. The flame is curved, it's alive, and it's always seeking vertical. So in your movements, you're doing all kinds of different things. Your spine is necessarily distorting from that vertical. But any time again, any time that you come to a position, it starts to seek the upright. So it's upright. So as you move around and adopt a position like that, it's like simultaneously the pelvis is leveling and the spine is uprighting. And you end up with a nice base here, and you end up with some length and space in your spine, which is really important for your spine's health in terms of like going through Tai Chi forms or yoga exercises. Having some length in your spine is really, really good. We spend so much time sitting and compressing the spine. Get length and space in there. It's really, really good for you. And so anytime you come to a movement, you know, you get to a position, leveling and upright. Come to another position here, leveling and upright. Whatever the movement is, leveling and upright. Spine is like that, pelvis is like that. And you're seeking the level of the upright. So thanks for watching, appreciate it. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like this kind of thing. Visit my website, jeanburnett.com, for more info, and have a nice day. Go fishing.